What's up party people? Welcome back, back to another video. Today I'm going to show you why it is not necessary to relocate the jack on a Ford Transit if you have the Scapima swivel mount on the passenger side. Let's go to the van. Notice that my jack is out. I was able to get that jack out and through that hole. Uh, this is the Scapima swivel mount for the passenger side of a 2019 Ford Transit. And obviously the Transit hasn't changed in a while. So if you got a jack under your passenger side and you have the Scapima seat swivel, there is no need to actually relocate your jack. And uh, we all know that the jack is just one more thing that's going to take up space in the van somewhere. So the good thing is, is there extra space under the seat as well. So you can store some other items up under the seat. I plan on uh, doing that as well. So, all right. So let me show you how I got the jack out. Then we'll put it back in. All right. So the first thing you want to do is obvious. Something you do whether you have the seat swivel or not. Pull the seat all the way to the front. And... Uh, the next thing you want to do is actually take this Velcro cover off and you want to kind of fold it back up under the top. So it's kind of out of the way. You need all the space here, this gap, in order to get this jack out. And typically the cylinder of the jack will be faced toward the interior of the uh, van because there's a little holder there, a little rubber stopper. It sits in nicely. And at the other end, there's a square base. So. Make sure it's positioned like that when you put your jack in. Uh, and what you want to do to get it out first, there's a strap, obviously. So we'll just apply some pressure here and remove the strap. Like such. Put that somewhere where you don't forget it. And the next thing you want to do is actually orient the jack so that just kind of pull it out make sure your little lid there doesn't get in the way all right so the easiest way i've found to orient the jack before you actually take it out is to have the jack handle side facing toward the driver's side and uh, it's positioned vertically uh, straight up and down this uh, the, the jack repository here so the jack handle uh, receptacle so face it like that and then it's pretty much lift the jack straight out and then when we get toward the top of the base we're just going to tilt it toward the inside of the van and it comes out like such and it's just reverse when we put it in we just tilt it toward the front first and then back and then once you get the jack in there you can you can pretty much orient it however you want to. So it's fairly easy. Uh, again, this is Scapima seat swivel. And uh, so again, with the jack handle receptacle facing vertically up and down and it positioned toward the driver's side. If you had this flipped over toward the passenger side, it's a little bit harder to do. So, um, so basically you pull the jack straight up and once the base gets toward the lip there, you just tilt it toward the seat and then it comes out and to put it back in just reverse the process tilt it toward the seat and just drop it down and once you get the jack in it's just really simple uh, putting it in its little home there and get the strap back on so uh, don't forget to also unfurl your uh, your velcro cover there too that you've kind of stowed back in there that will wrap it up all nice and neat once you jack it so all right i am going to uh put this jack in its house and strap it down strap back on So that is how you 
remove and replace the jack uh, with the Scapima seat swivel. All right, just a quick little tip there, quick video. Uh, I know it's not rocket science, but it may help somebody out if they're trying to make a purchase and decision or whatever. I have no idea about the other swivels. Maybe somebody else can post videos about the other swivels, but I've seen people relocating their jack and uh, for whatever reason, it is not necessary with the Scapima swivel. And uh, the less I can move, the better off I am, to be honest with you. So the jack goes in, the jack comes out, all of the um, handles and uh, peripherals for the jack are actually stored on the side of the seat. So uh, uh, nothing's in the way there. So hope this helps somebody out. Give me a thumbs up if you like the tips, if you like the videos. More mountain biking content coming really, really soon, as well as electric motorcycle content. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment. Till next time, skill up and ride. Band up and go.